If you're doing a live, let's say you want to do, and there's two different versions of a live, by the way, on Facebook. You can go live like this video, or you could surprise people and do a Facebook live audio. Boop. So I'll leave you with that. So Facebook live video or audio is an option. Then what you want to do is go live, make sure you have a topic and three talking points prior, go live, and then from there, repurpose that video, cut it down, make a sound bite, do a minute or two minutes from whatever you said, because this is natural interaction, right? So what you want to do is take a minute or two out of that 10, 15, 20, 30 minute live that you did, you're going to have something at very at the very minimum, you're going to have a 30 second clip of you saying something, a quote, a tip, uh, motivational um, inspiration stuff, whatever. You're going to have something that you can pull from that. Yes, it takes time because you have to watch it again and you have to edit, but I guarantee you it's worth it because you don't have to create content because you already did. You created the content right here. Like right now, I'm going to chop this video up afterwards and I'm going to make little videos so that I can then create a blog post. I can then share it in my email list. I can go post it on Twitter. I can go post it on Instagram. Like you have your list, right? And you have to create a list of where you want to be and then figure out where's your starting point. And it takes a while. Trust me, like it, it's a lot of work. And right now I'm using Trello to go ahead and map that stuff out. So for me, Trello is awesome because I literally right now, like I started to map out, okay, I put all my profiles. So I created a marketing board and then I created all my profiles across the top. Those are my lists. And then I was going to do Monday through Friday, well, Monday through Sunday, actually, uh, days of the week under each one and then put inside those days what I need to do. Then I thought about it, though. I stopped and I said, you know what? Is this the best way to do it? Or should I do it days of the week and then put each profile under those days. And that's when it came to me. I was like, you know what? That's going to be better because when I look at what I do, I look at the calendar first to see what day it is. And then I go from there. So same thing. I would be looking at Trello, looking at days of the week, and then I would look at what needs to be done on that day. That also goes with the Facebook groups that I'm in. They go by days of the week, most of them. For certain days, they have promo days, they have ask a question, get feedback, all of that. So it makes more sense for me to go by the days of the week and then see what's on that list versus trying to go by Facebook groups and profiles and everything like that and going from there, if that makes sense. So it, it takes time. You really have to write it out, lay it out, like literally, and go from there. 